The overall goal of this hemagglutination inhibition assay is to measure the antibody titers against specific viruses of interest. This method can help answer key questions in the vaccinology field about vaccine-mediated immunity and protection within different populations and across various age and patient groups. The main advantages of this technique are that it is accurate and that it allows a fast titer determination of the presence of neutralizing antibodies. Though this method can provide insight into human antibody titers, it can also be applied to other systems, such as antibody titers from mouse serum or cell culture supernatants. Begin by labeling 96 well microtiter plates with the appropriate experimental information. Then turn the plate in the vertical orientation and use a multi-channel pipette to add 25 microliters of PBS to every well except the first well of the bottom back titration row. Add 50 microliters of the freshly prepared antigen solution of interest to the first well of the back titration row, followed by the addition of 25 microliters of RDE treated serum samples to the first wells of the top 10 rows. Add 25 microliters of the appropriate antiserum to the first well of the 11th row as a positive control. Then transfer 25 microliters from the first well of each row to their successive wells to perform serial two-fold dilutions. Pipette up and down 10 to 15.